Hey y'all, so here is my second statue review. This one I'm actually a little bit more excited about because this is from the line that I collect most passionately. Uh, and a part of me kind of wishes I had started with something a little bit smaller. Oh my gosh, this thing is heavy. So we have the Wonder Woman DC Bombshell Deluxe statue. I'm just gonna give you guys a look at the box. Unlike the X-Men, I'm not gonna take this one out yet. I'm gonna uh, take it out. Inside here is just a big thick piece of styrofoam with all the pieces in it. And I think this one comes in two or three pieces, I wanna say. I will show you guys me assembling it though, so you can see that. But they got, there's an actual, or not actual, no, that's just an illustration of the statue. Yeah. <laughs> the actual pick of the statue is on this side. And then on here, you can see a little bit about it and two other statues that are in the line. The Green Lantern one is out right now. The Joker's daughter is not. It'll be out, does it say? No, I'm pretty sure she comes out, I want to say November. I'm not sure. Uh, and I do not have Green Lantern. I had her... Uh, I ordered the, I don't know if I n said it in the last one, but the X-Men I just got off Kids website. This one I got from my local comic shop. And I ordered Green Lantern there too, but it came broken. And you know, that's not the comic book sh shop's fault. It's whoever packaged it. Uh, but it came broken and I tried to exchange it and they tried to order me another one and they couldn't. <laughs> Uh, I got my man money back for it, though. Uh, so I'm still on the hunt for Jessica Cruz, but I got Wonder Woman. <laughs> so, And I looked at this one before I left the store. The other, the Green Lantern one, I didn't notice until I got home. Uh, but yeah, just like before, we're going to go across the room and take a look at this thing. So, there it is. I told you. It's just a big styrofoam block when you open this thing. Uh, this side has a bit of a curve to it, and that's how you can pretty much tell it's the top that and the fact that it's actually labeled top right there yeah that, that's a pretty good indicator as well my tripod leg is coming loose so if the camera suddenly topples and y'all's ears get start bleeding because of the sound I'm sorry but let's go ahead and open this up I don't think the other side is open or maybe it is okay it is there we go and I was right, it does come in three pieces. Now this thing, these ones come in little bitty instructions, like you can't figure out that her feet go in the base and the sword goes into the hilt of the sword. I guess DC thinks you're kind of dumb, but yeah, backside just blank. But let's go ahead and get the base out first. Now these deluxe statues, one, they're heavy, like seriously heavy, y'all. Uh, all the other bombshell statues have a base that go together. Uh, in other words, what, what am I trying to say? They all got the same base. You can see them a little bit over there. Let me try and zoom in on here. But all those are my bombshell statues. You can see each one have those little gray bases with their names on it. And there are two different versions of Wonder Woman. Uh, the regular and the holiday. And now we have this uh, deluxe version as well. So this one just came out, and it came out in August. This may be September by the time I'm posting this, I don't know. But So the Deluxe Statue was statue series was born uh, pretty much because of the Harley. If you guys want a review on the Harley, please tell me. I'll be more than happy to do it. There's a piece of Starbucks foam on there. But um, a little, little, just a little history first. So when they first started doing the bombshells, it was just artwork. And Harley's artwork had her on the bomb. But, and they wanted to put that, you know, in her statue. They were trying to make the statues as close to the artwork as possible, but they couldn't do it and keep the budget for the statues. <clears throat> in other words, they would have to charge more than the usual 100 to $125 for those other statues up there. So, after a while, the Harley one sold out fast. <laughs> and after a while, they were like, you know what, let's just reissue it and make this one with the bomb and make it worth even less than the one is now because that original one is worth like three hundred dollars now because it went away so fast uh so the the harley one was about 250 
This one was about 150. So let's get Wonder Woman out of here. She comes in this little plastic baggie. Let me come over here to do it. Now these things, guys, they have a lot of fragile parts, so be careful. In fact, I'm going to take this off camera and do it just so I have a little bit more stability. There we go. Now, Diana, you guys haven't read the comic books or anything. She's pretty much, you know, she's still on Amazon, but she's just fighting for the allies in the war. Kind of like she was in the original series with Linda Carter, but not exactly the same. But here is her World War II Rosie the Riveter style uh, outfit. I don't, I'm not really a fan of the facial sculpt. Let me see if I can do it like I did Wolverine. There we go. I'm not a super big fan of the facial sculpt. Um, the other one was a little bit better, it had a different facial expression on it. Uh, but this one's really cool too. Don't get me wrong, I really love it. And instead of having a tiara, she has that bandana on her head with the star. It's kind of cool. Now, and that leg on the tripod fell out again, dang it. <laughs> now these things, they're supposed to be bullets that have ricocheted off her statue, or off her statue, off her shield. And you can see the eagle logo. So these things are pretty fragile. You can see this one moving a little bit as I touch it. Uh, be careful with that. Like I said, a lot of these statues have fragile parts to it. Um, some of them, not so much. Like if you see, hang on, that Mira right there next to Wonder Woman, uh, the trident on her would look pretty fragile. It's actually made of plastic and it's not attached to the statue itself. So if you drop that one, you're no problem. I know because I've dropped it thousands of times <laughs> as I'm moving that statue around. I don't move them around a lot, but every now and then. But yeah. And if you're wondering why Harley, she didn't have enough room to be put there. Now, neither does Killer Frost or Starfire. I have both of them as well, but they're somewhere else. But let's get her sword out. Here's the sword. You can see it has the same uh, symbol on it as the shield did. So let me put down the camera since Tripod lost a leg. Okay, guys, and there she is holding her sword. So there is the full scale look of Wonder Woman. It looks really awesome. I love how they made the base look like a really tank that's seen a few hard times. The barrel is completely busted. You can see the treads on the tires are completely wonked. So that's the official term, wonked. So it's really, really cool. Like I said, uh, the Harley one is sitting on uh, a bomb the, and that's what makes the deluxe statues the deluxe are the bases pretty much and the more uh, dynamic poses on them they are slightly bigger uh, in stature than the regular bombshells are as well Wonder Woman you can see has very muscular arms and legs which fit the character perfectly uh, I think I have highlighter on my hands. Sorry. <laughs> she also has that same emblem on her belt, you can see. So, yeah. I absolutely love this line. You can see all the detail in the bracelets as well. If I can focus the camera and not... I'm looking around the camera. That's my problem. So, <laughs> um, so professional. But, yeah. You can see the little uh, pattern on the bracelets. The other one is the same. And if I didn't show the back of the shield... There it is. You can even see the little leather straps. They're not real leather, are they? No. <laughs> sometimes they put cloth on these statues. Sometimes they don't. Like uh, Black Canary and uh, Raven back there. Their fishnet stockings are cloth. I'm pretty sure Black Canary's is. I know Raven's is. But anyway. There is the statue. I know this was a little bit horrible. <laughs> Especially even worse than the X-Men one was. Uh, but like I said, I'm having some technical issues. So, and this is my first time trying to review a statue like this, so bear with me. Please, please bear with me. 
And again, if you guys see any statue you want reviewed, again, I also have the Deluxe Harley and the Starfire and the uh, Killer Frost. And if you're wondering about all the little ones, those are blind bag figures from Cryptozoic. They're a little bit pricey. They're about 12 bucks each. And like I said, they are blind bags, so you don't know which one you're getting. Uh, but they're worth it. They're very detailed. And if you find a full box, you're guaranteed at least one of each character and possibly one of the mystery chase figures. <laughs> uh, but you do get at least one of each of the common ones. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Again, I'm sorry for the lack of quality on this, but I'm new. I'll improve, hopefully. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, it's a community, not a competition, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.